YouTube, it's Satch. Welcome to Driver 81. Now this is a video that I was hoping I wouldn't have to make, but unfortunately I do. Yes, as the title suggests, I'm selling the Porsche 911 991. This is uh, quite a sad day because if you've seen any of my videos on this car, you'll know that I absolutely love this car. Um, but unfortunately, I do need to sell the car because we're getting some building work done and I do need to release some funds so um, this unfortunately is the uh, the big bulk of money so I need to sell this car in order to pay for the building work in fact um, now although I am quite sad about it I'm not too sort of downhearted or downbeat about it because um, as one door closes another door opens and it does in fact give me another opportunity to uh, go and buy another 911 that I've always wanted to buy. In fact, it's a uh, well, I haven't bought anything yet, I'm just looking at the moment. But it's a, a 911 997, it's a Carrera 4S with the GT3 Aero kit. Um, I understand that I'm probably taking a step backwards, uh, going back to a 997. Obviously, the natural progression from a 991 would probably be to, be, uh, to go and buy something like a GT3 or a GTS. Um, but as I say, I need to release funds for building work, so um, it's back to 997 we go. Albeit it'll be a C4S, I hope, with the GT3 Aero kit on. Um, I either want a blue one or a yellow one, so uh, we'll see how that goes, and I'll take you on the whole journey with regards to that. Um, but as I say, I've sold the, uh, the 991 that I'm driving in now. Well, I haven't actually sold it as yet. Um, basically, to sell the car, I've uh, rang around and spoke to a lot of dealers, a lot of Porsche dealers. Um, most dealers sort of generally coming in with the same uh, same sort of figure. However, I've spoken to a guy who uh, buys all of the Porsches for Porsche uh, well, the official Porsche centers, and uh, he's given me not a great price. Ultimately, I have lost money on it, but um, a decent price with the GT3 front end on. Um, that's how I really wanted to sell the car with the GT3 front end uh, and that's what I've been able to do with this guy it's a genuine Porsche sender so um, I suspect this car will go to a, a genuine uh, Porsche sender for sale uh, so maybe look out for it although the reg will change um, so yeah he originally gave me one figure and that was with the original bumper and then he came back to me and he said, what about a deal with the, the GT3 front end? So uh, I got a little bit more for the car with the GT3 front end on. And plus it saves me from taking it off, putting the original bumper back on, and then going through the whole, trying to sell the GT3 front end privately. So um, it's one less headache for me to worry about. So I'm dropping the car off tomorrow at an official Porsche center. So. By the time you see this video, the car will actually be long gone. I, it's what the 20 notes, the 16th, 17th of May, something like that, right now. So I envisage it'll be next week by the time this video goes live. So the car will be long gone. Uh, but as I say, it's um, I love this car from start to finish. Yes, there has been a few uh, bits and bobs that have um, got me a little bit down about the car, and you know, probably not as good as. I want it to be at times, but 95% of the time this car has been a great car to me. Um, I love the looks of it, love the performance of it, um, the power, the sound, the comfort, the interior space, the, the space in the rear for kids and wife. So it's, you know, it's, you can fit all your shopping in, providing you haven't got a family of 10. So I'm sad to see the car go, really sad to see the car. But as I say, one door closes, another door opens. So I'll be, probably for the rest of today and early part of tomorrow, I'll be having my final drives around it. This will probably be the last video that I ever do on this car. But, you know, there's plenty of time ahead of me. And I envisage once the, uh, the funds come back up to where I need them to be, I'll probably get another 991. I'd probably, though, go for a GT3 or a GTS. It all depends on how funds are looking in the next few years. So, um, thanks for following me on this journey with this 991. I've enjoyed making all the videos that I have done. 
Um, as I say, I hope you're going to keep subscribed because, um, like I say, I've got another. I'll be. I will be going straight into another 9/11. The, uh, the end of the journey is not right here, so I'm excited to see what I'll get in the future. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because you're going to basically join me on the next leg of my Porsche journey, which is what the whole YouTube channel is set up to do, basically give you an insight to the, uh, the Porsche journey that I live in. Anyway, I'll see you next time, thanks for following.